Court is up and running, but of course, as I said, it is not uh, without its critics. It took you uh, many, many years to get your first uh, conviction. Uh, the evidentiary process is very slow, people say. How do you respond to that? Is um, My first comment is, you are watching the detail. When you have a, a law saying you cannot go ahead when there's a red light, you can move when there's a green light. Then, the, if these rules are respected, you move to the enforcement. Okay, how many people cross the red light? How many of them are prosecuted? How fast you go? In this case, this convention that we stop when red light and we move when green light was not existing in international relations. Leaders can commit crimes and nothing happened to them. Nothing. So there were no red lights. And this was the first time, hey guys, leaders, there are red lights. If you commit atrocities, it will be a problem for you. That is the concept. Not what happened with the enforcement. We can discuss enforcement. I think we're great in enforcement. But the real issue is, for the first time, we changed the world. We put red lights for leaders who commit massive atrocities. So to your critics, you say you have to see it in the context, the, big, the, the bigger picture, not in the detail. Is that the what you're suggesting? Exactly. The court is a little piece of the global system. In fact, I always <laughs> I remember the, the judges were unhappy with me because the judges were appointed in March 2003, 18 judges waiting for a case. In June, my swearing and my speech was the best outcome for this court will be zero case. Because zero case means or there is no genocide or if there is a genocide, the national court will do it. And that's the system. We should respect national courts. 